Hello students, welcome to our Rise Channel and today we are going to study a new chapter that is diversity in living organism. So what do you mean by diversity? Diversity means variety. Diversity means variety. Okay, living organism, it includes both plants and animals. Plants and animals. Clear? So, thus we can say that variety in plants and animals that is known as diversity or this is also known as biodiversity. Bio means related to living organisms and diversity means variety. Thus we can say that biodiversity is the different form of living organisms or we can say that variety of living organisms. Okay. So, here we go with the definition of biodiversity. Okay. What is biodiversity? Means different forms forms of living organisms or variety of life forms found in a particular reason. Okay, so what is biodiversity? Diversity means different forms of living organisms or a variety of living organisms found in a particular area that is known as biodiversity. Again, I am going to clear you bio means related to living beings. Okay, all plants and animals. Diversity means variety. So, here it is clear that variety of life forms found in a particular area. So, wherever we go, we can find different kinds of plants. We can find a different variety of living organisms, living like plants and animals. So, thus we can say there is a number of, a large number of living beings like plants, animals, uh, small microbes, everything is there in the biosphere. So, these are known as biodiversity means different forms of living organisms or variety of living organisms found in a particular area. This is biodiversity. Clear? Now, here we go with a term that is taxonomy. What is taxonomy? Actually, it is the science it is a one kind of branch of biology in which the identification, nomenclature and identification is done or classification is done of an living organism. Okay, thus we can say the science of, sorry, a branch of science, taxonomy is the branch of biology in which nomenclature first of all identification then its nomenclature and then classification The branch of biology in which we study the identification, nomenclature and classification of an organism. Okay, clear? So, what is taxonomy? The branch of biology in which we study the identification, nomenclature and classification of an organism. Who is the father of taxonomy? Father of taxonomy is Carolus Linnaeus.
okay carolus linnaeus is the father of taxonomy means he gave many rules and he developed the branch of this biology that is known as taxonomy clear so we can say the study the branch of biology in which the uh, identification nomenclature and classification of an organism is done is studied that is known as taxonomy now here we go with the term identification means first that organism is identified on the basis of different features then nomenclature means that organism whether it is plant or animal then it is given a particular name so that we can easily find it out we can easily uh, study about that okay then classification now on the basis of similarities uh, dissimilarities and interrelationship they are classified into the different groups and subgroups clear so there are the three things whenever the scientist found any organism whether it is plant or animal then first of all they identify them they give them name then they are classified into different groups and subgroups on the basis of their similarities dissimilarities and in the relationship interrelationship okay so here we go with the nomenclature first of all we will talk about nomenclature nomenclature means to give a name nomenclature means it's a method to give a particular name name to living and known living objects what is nomenclature nomenclature means it is a method to give a particular name to living and known living objects generally a nomenclature is of two type common and specific okay generally nomenclature is of two type common and specific if we talk about the common nomenclature what happens then a organ an organism is given a common name okay and when and it is given by the people of that particular region okay and specific name if we talk about the specific name that specific name means it is given by the scientist clear that is why it is a specific name which can be studied by all and that animal means that organism will be identified by all with that particular specific name clear generally if we talk about that specific name that it includes two words first is related to the gen uh, genus or genera of that species of that particular animal and then the second name is given by the species which represent its species okay so first of all we will talk about common name common nomen nature it's a common name of an organism given by the people of that particular reason okay so what is nom uh, common nomenclature it is a common name given to an organism by the people of that particular reason okay sometimes they found uh, any organism there and then they gave the name in their own common language clear so what are the drawbacks of this common nomenclature sometimes 
few organisms were found without name okay because it's not possible for all the organism to be found at the particular area suppose a particular name is given at the particular place of the organism okay then if in other area that other organism is found then it does not have any uh, it does not have any name okay so thus we can say that the drawback of this common name was that sometimes the animals were found without names okay sometimes the same organism has both common names okay so these were the drawbacks and sometimes the animals or organisms which were not related to that species they were also given the same name so these were the drawbacks of common nomenclature now we will talk about specific nomenclature specific nomenclature it's a name given to organism by the scientist it has or it contains two words one is genus and second word is related to species okay specific nomenclature it was given by the scientist and generally organism contain two words the name contains two words one is related first one is related to the genus and the second word is related to the species this is the reason that this nomenclature is also known as binomial nomenclature okay okay so this is about the specific nomenclature in which an organism whether it is plant or animal it has two components in the name means the name is composed of two words okay so here we go that naming thus we can say that naming is the thus we can say that naming is a method to give a name to plants and animals okay naming is a method to give a particular name to plants and animals it generally it composed it is composed of two components one is genus and the second is species okay for example homo sapiens it is the scientific name name of humans in which homo means homo is genus and sapiens is related 
two species. Okay, as these names have two words, that's why they are known as binomial nomenclature. Okay, so here I can mention as as scientific or uh, specific nomenclature has two words as specific nomenclature has two words in it thus this nomenclature is known as known as binomial nomenclature okay so this is the reason that why it is given the name binomial nomenclature because it contains two components it has two words in the name clear one is related to genus and another is related to species clear now what are the rules of binomial nomenclature here we go with the rules what are the rules of binomial nomenclature means first of all every organism name of every organism composed of two components name of organism contains is composed is composed of two components second first word is genus and second word is species first word is always first word is always written first letter of first letter of first word first letter of first word is always capital like noun and first letter of second word first letter of second word is small okay then generally uh, these are typed in italics or if they are handwritten then they are underlined so next point is they are typed in italics or if handwritten then they are uh, 
underlined okay so here today in this lecture we studied about the diversity means biodiversity we studied about the taxonomy and we studied about the nomenclature how the animals or plants are given a particular name in our next lecture we will talk about the classification thank you